this member of the carrot family is anything but good for the eyes, with reports of its sap causing temporary or even permanent blindness. Its scientific name references its demigod-like size and strength. This is definitely one plant you don't want to tangle with. This is the giant hogweed. Hey, I'm Sasha the Amazon, and you're watching Florologic. Today we're talking about Heraclium montegaziano, otherwise known by the way less fancy name, giant hogweed. And when I say giant, I mean giant. This herbaceous flowering plant, named after Hercules himself, can reach staggering heights of five meters. That's as tall as a full-grown giraffe, and it's extra impressive considering it's supported by a single hollow stem, which can get as wide as six inches at the base. Giant hogweed has become invasive all over Europe. You might even find it on my new land in Scotland. That's right, I am now Lady Tasha the Amazon, all thanks to established titles. Established titles is a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. You can buy as little as one square foot of land and officially call yourself a lord or lady. The best part is they work closely with global charities, Trees for the Future and One Tree Planted and plant a tree for every order. It's a fun, novel way to support global reforestation efforts. Established Titles also told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot, within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or lady, we can build our own little Florologic kingdom. It even makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is now running a great Labor Day sale. Plus, if you use the code ANIMALOGIC, you get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com slash animalogic to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Now, back to hogweed. Giant hogweed is native to the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, the country, not the state, as well as Azerbaijan and Southern Russia, where it can be found in meadows, clearings, around the edges of forests, and on or near riverbanks. It can even be found on the seashore and doesn't mind the salt spray one moat. Giant hogweed is a member of the Apiaceae family. This huge aromatic family of about 3,700 species spread over 700 genera has some high profile members that you might have in your kitchen right now. Celery, carrots, dill, fennel, coriander, cumin, and caraway, just to name a few. But just like the Skywalkers, the Apiaceae family also has a dark side. Its more infamous members include a bunch of poisonous species, like poison hemlock, as well as some phototoxic members, like giant hogweed. If you get the sap of the giant hogweed on your skin, it can make it wildly sensitive to sunlight, making you an itchier version of Dracula. This double whammy of sap plus sun is called photodermatitis. Within 24 to 48 hours, you'll break out in nasty, weepy rashes and blisters that can even cause permanent scarring or discoloration. The sap is most toxic when the plant is flowering, but it's probably best to avoid this plant anytime. If you do tangle with the hogweed, try to keep the sap slathered skin out of the sun. If you get the sap in your eye, it can cause temporary or possibly permanent blindness. Even though it's been shown that carrots don't specifically improve eye health, I'm sure they'd still disown giant hogweed if they could. Giant hogweed is a monocarpic perennial, meaning it flowers only once after being in a vegetative state for a long period of time. After it flowers, it dies. The most famous monocarpic perennial is probably bamboo, which can stay in its vegetative state for up to 100 years. It will then go through a mass flowering event, a phenomenon called gregarious flowering, where all the bamboo plants flower at once before dying. Giant hogweed doesn't get quite that elderly, but it will live between two and 12 years before it finally flowers and gives up the ghost. You know what they say about big plants, big flowers. Giant hogweed flowers, which are white or occasionally pink, are beautiful and massive, stretching up to 80 centimeters across. After they go to seed, each plant has tens of thousands of winged seeds that are taken away by the wind. Most plants want to send their seedlings far away so they don't have to compete for the same light and resources. A study in Scotland showed, however, that 60 to 90% of the seeds landed within 13 meters of the parent. So giant hogweed seeds take to the water. Giant hogweed plants that are on or near rivers can use the currents to carry their seeds as far away from the parent plant as possible. 
These seeds can float for up to two days without sinking. But even if they don't go far, seeds can stay viable in the soil for up to seven years. So seedlings could theoretically repopulate an area long after their parent is dead and gone. Giant hogweed can be found all over North America, where it's identified as an invasive, non-native species. And this giant likes to rove, with its spread described as slow but steady. Let's just hope it doesn't pull a tortoise and win the race. Giant hogweed has existed on the North American continent since at least 1917, and was likely either introduced as an ornamental plant or accidentally in seeds from imported foods. North America isn't the only place where giant hogweed has made itself a little too comfortable. In the UK, it was planted in Kew Gardens in 1817, with reports that it had escaped to surrounding areas by 1828. In 1862, it was planted in today's Czech Republic, and by 1877, it was starting to invade. It's now spread all over Western Europe, Great Britain, and Ireland, as well as the US and Canada. Giant hogweed is difficult to eradicate, and not just because of the blisteringly toxic sap. This giant is like the final boss in a video game. Researchers cut some specimen four times a year for two years, and they didn't even die. Cutting the large taproot half a foot down below the soil is the only way to reliably kill this invader. Given its Herculean scientific moniker, its strength and stamina really make you wonder if this plant isn't a demigod after all. So what should we talk about next? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. See ya. If you get the sap in your eye, something bad happens. Giant hogweed doesn't get quite that elderly, but it will. <laughs> okay, giant hogweed, oh, I got so excited about that. So giant hogweed seeds take to the water. Look at him. So giant hogweed seeds take to the water. Look at him. Giant hogweed seeds, mm. so giant hogweed seeds take to the water. Okay. Okay. North America isn't the only place where grow, 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 where grow big too much. Toodaloo, toodaloo, toodaloo. Next time that I see you, you better be wearing velour.